Hi, I am Jesse. I'm the Walking Mosh Pit, and I'm here at the Press Basement Bar for the New Year's Emo Night, sending off 2022 and saying one night, one more time, thanks for the memories. I'm joined here by what is effectively a Tamwon super group. We have Nick Ross of Euphoric Melancholy. We have Jesse Green of Serrated and Subject Zero. And we have Jack from Traces and Noctica. Thank you guys for joining me for this. Soon, hopefully, we'll be joined by Avelina. All right, so what I really want to know is what does like a super group like this coming together entail? How did this happen? Uh, basically, just <laughs> we kind of just like, hey, let's get a bunch of guys together and just basically make a group of people just to support local musicians and just give, give ourselves all some exposure. That was really the basis of what the entire project. I uh, needed some people to play music in a band. <laughs> <laughs> so I hit up some people that I thought were cool. Oh, that's literally it. That's pretty much the story. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> and history was made. Um, so, obviously we saw the name The Depressed up there. Is that a name that might stick? I sort of thought of the name perhaps New Year's Grieve, or are there any other potential <laughs> names that might have been going around? Colonel Sanders in the fuck it bucket. <laughs> There, there was no names. Luke, Luke Fielding, the owner of the press, came up with the Depressed. Originally, it was just no name for the band, and we're just going to be like a nameless cover band, untitled. Yeah, we pretty much band. found out like this morning. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think like Luke jotted the idea past us, and we're like, ha ha, what if we just like put like D E E D on the sign, and then we're like, ha ha, it's a funny sign, and now now it's actually. <laughs> so now we've been joined by Avelina De Moray. She is a singer songwriter, goth badass, <laughs> and she is also a part of this what I've dubbed a set Tamworth super group and yeah this was a fantastic show thank you guys for putting it on I had so much fun is there any chance of perhaps another show with this lineup perhaps sticking together as a band <laughs> Absolutely. Ignore Jack. We've yeah, had like go. so. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. Like this is the first time we've actually come back together after the show. Yeah. But I've had so much feedback from people. Like, are you guys performing again? I, I would like, absolutely do it again in a heartbeat. Yeah. No question. As about. Justin Bieber said, "Never say never, baby." Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what he said. Twenty twenty two is just about gone, and we are saying thanks for the memories. So I'd just like to know what's the memory from twenty twenty two that you guys are all thankful for. Ooh. That's, uh, that time I almost got knocked out at that serrated set. <laughs> that was pretty sorry. good. <laughs> Minus 196 grape flavour. <laughs> uh, I'm grateful for Fireball and Sprite. That's like my highlight of the year. Lots of that. Well, to continue with the liquid fucking theme here, yeah, would be... Uh, Come. The <laughs> hey, I do love the taste to come, but um, Amaretto <laughs> Yeah, this is a beautiful common soda. So, I do have some specific questions for all of you. Let's start with Avelina. So you are a singer, songwriter, you're also a designer, very well rounded. Can you tell us what's upcoming in 2023? I'm um, stepping into the world of jewellery, which is a lot of fun. Yeah. So I've got like four or five uh, <coughs> new designs. One with uh, Black Friday, the infamous huge gothic YouTuber, which is going to be a lot of fun. Fuck yeah. Yeah, she resides in New Zealand, has a really huge following. So that should be, yeah, a complete success. Um, a lot more things coming out with Danny Devine and just some other alternative kind of people that I'm working with. <coughs> Excuse me, the main thing is going to be my music. I'm finally fucking putting it out there. Releasing uh, Like a Drug, which is what you heard this evening in January. That's my first single. And then, yeah, I've got like three or four hard-hitting songs. After that, and then a slightly softer one, which is called um, A Lot Like Gosh. Jesus. So a lot of music, a lot of fucking, a lot of, yeah, probably a lot of fucking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm very, drug, sex, and rock and roll. I'm yeah. very, very excited, especially to hear Like a Drug as it comes out. Yeah. All right, so Nick, my friend, yeah. you are an incredible musician. You oh, frequent gosh. open mic nights here at Tamworth, and you've got your own project, Euphoric yeah. Melancholy. Essentially, happy, sad, the band. That is literally. The best. <laughs> so, can you, can you tell us what's upcoming for you in 2023? Well, now that I've actually got a taste for being in a proper band and actually playing in a live context, especially the press, I probably will try and do some releases and demos. Maybe finish them off with, say, people like Jesse Green, other artists. Maybe something if something pops up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's mainly on my schedule at the moment, probably continuing open mic night, seeing if I can get a couple more opportunities to do a couple of paid shows, just get a bit more exposure and at least see if I can get more involved with the press and just be a nice fun thing to do next year. It'd be lovely to see you play more. 
Jesse, you have got multiple projects on your mind. You've got Serrated, you have Subject Zero. You're also a bit of a producer. You aid a lot of local, local artists around the scene. Tell us what's coming up for you in 2023. Um, a lot of Serrated tunes. We got a big recording session booked in February. Uh, we're gonna spoil a bit, but we've got an album, like an album that we're gonna finish recording at that time. Got about 10 songs in the bank that we're just sort of working on. A Walking Mosh Pit exclusive, an album yeah. coming from Serrated. <laughs> it's got to happen sometime. So yeah, just sort of working on Serrated tunes, some solo stuff. Hopefully getting some more clients in the studio. I really love working with other people as well. And like just being productive with as many people as I can. That's fantastic. And lastly, Jack from Traces and also Noctica. So you've had a massive 2022. You have pioneered emo here in Tamworth. You brought the scene to the press. You've organized many, many shows. Tell us what's upcoming for you, Jack, in 2023. I'm um, just doing the Lord's work. <laughs> no, um, I'll be, I've got a handful of songs to release uh, for a solo project and hopefully an album for Traces, depending Ooh. on the just depending on how it all goes. Um, but mostly just a shitload of songs, got a couple of singles and um, just some really cool songs I've been working on for a while, technically, um, but only finally really got around to recording them this year. So it's gonna be good, gonna be fun. Fantastic, well, I thank you all for giving me your time here at the uh, New Year's Emo Night. Let's count down to 2023. Have a lovely new year. Thank you all for giving me your time. No problem, Thanks man. for having us. No,